I and First Lady Nyoka Dixon have issued this prayer to God Almighty over the murder of 17-year-old Trayvon Martin, whose life was taken by the hands of George Zimmerman. And it is my hope that the United States Justice Department will bring swift and immediate justice through the judicial system in this matter so that our brother in Christ Trayvon Martin can rest in peace and his father, mother, family, loved ones, and friends can begin their journey of healing. We pray that the Justice Department will not allow Trayvon Martin's death to be in vain and that the laws of this land will be enforced with regards to his murder. The unlawful killing of our young black men in America must cease. Let us pray. The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leaves me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will feel no evil, for thou art with me. Thou rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. And thou anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. And surely in goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Father God, I come before you lifting up the family of Trayvon Martin. And merciful Father, help them by the power of your Holy Spirit to find healing from the memories of this terrible tragedy. O oh God, another mother and father has lost their sons for no reason at all. Another senseless crime has been committed, and it has pierced the hearts of mothers and fathers all over this nation. O oh, merciful God, give Trayvon mother and father a greater sense of your presence, so that they may find your comfort, your strength, and your grace to get them through this time of hurt and pain. Provide for his family their every need, Lord, as we weep with those who weep. Help us to bear the Martin Burtons in prayer, Father. And, oh, merciful Father, I know that only in time will the Martin family recover from this tragedy. So help us all as children of the Most High God to not forget to pray without ceasing for each other. Lord, our hearts greed over the untimely death and terrible tragedy of Trayvon Martin. O oh, merciful Father, awaken the uh, conscience of all of us, young and old, black and white, to understand that whatever affects one directly affects all indirectly, O oh, Father. O oh, merciful Father, allow the death of this innocent young man to never be forgotten. And I ask you, Lord, to lay upon the hearts of local, county, state, and federal public servants to present a bill in the name of Trayvon Martin so that no other family in our nation will have to endure this horrific act of violence, Father. Lord, I ask that you place upon the hearts of our public servants the courage and fortitude to allow such a bill to be approved into law, Father. O oh, merciful Father, you alone are the God that sees all and knows all, and I imagine that it must grieve your heart even more, Father, because you know the promise that each life holds and the purpose for which created each of us. Thank you, Lord, that you are not a distant God, you are with us and care about our suffering. You, O oh Lord, are a God full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering and abundant in mercy and truth. 
According to Psalms chapter 86 verse 15, you alone are the griever and sustainer of life, and we place our faith and trust in you to see us through each day, Father. O oh, merciful Father, help the family to cast their cares upon you because you care for them, O oh, Father. Protect us and give us peace in the midst of the storm, O oh, Heavenly Father. O oh, Father, we know that one day the parents of Trayvon Martin will see their son again and will be joined with him, Father. Oh, what a happy and joyous day that will be. Because your word in Revelation chapter 21 verse 4 says that you will wipe away all tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death and neither sorrow nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain. The former things are passed away, O oh Father. Allow the Martin family to take comfort and strength in your words because it will come to pass. And this, O oh merciful Lord, we ask in your Son Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen.